Hi everyone, Melissa here at cloudmom.com. Already starting to get into a little bit of a panic because school is just around the corner and figuring out for me where everybody's going and how I'm going to get them there is like a major psychological challenge. So anyway, just a few thoughts on how this can be made a bit easier. And if you're already back to school, congratulations and I hope it's going smoothly. Number one thing that I, I, I think is a really great thing to do is to make as many doctor's appointments as you can in August. A lot of doctors are still there. They're not on vacation the whole month, and you probably are going to get a time that works better for you. Your kid might not have anything during the day, so it's easier versus competing for those after-school slots, and you'll just be so much more relaxed going into the month of September knowing that you don't have doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, orthodontist appointments, all that stuff, even haircuts. Get it all out of the way. Number two thing I think is a really great thing to do, especially when you have more than one kid or you work, you have a tricky schedule. As soon as you get the calendar for your child, what day they start, when they're on vacation, when they have a half day, put it all in your own system, whether it be on your phone, when maybe you have a great app, whatever you have, get it all centralized so that you won't worry about what's hitting you when and you won't have scheduling conflicts. And finally, and I think this is a really, really great thing to do, Take a lot of pictures in the month before school. Take pictures of your children, of family members, of grandparents, and print them and have them ready to go. Because if you have young children, the school is going to be wanting you to submit pictures all year long, even of them as babies, by the way, for collages, placemats, and different things at school. So usually the first week of school, I'm like, oh, the pictures, and I never have them on hand. But this year, no more. So anyway, just a few ideas for how to have a little bit of smooth sailing as you're going into the school year. If you've already started, I hope things are going well. Please comment below and let me know what you do to handle being overwhelmed and stressed out when it comes to back to school. And thank you so much for watching.